What's poppin' is Enzo McFly. It's your girl, your car keys, I am. She what it do, man. This your boy, E.S.G. What's up, what's up? It's your girl, Angry Hero. It's your boy, Mikey Iso. What's up? It's your girl, Desiree Simone. And we K22 Radio, man. I know what's going down. The biggest blood in America. Hey, man, you already know who it is. DJ Me What's going on, man? It's comedian Jeff Shelley. What's good, word? Show me DJ Chosen. Say, man, it's Wapping Puerto Rico, man. Ah, baby boy. Baby girl. It's your girl, B. Simona, with Catch-22. What's up, Houston? It's your boy, Quay. I just wrapped a dope-ass interview with Catch-22. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Lacey Dro. Just wrapped up a dope interview with Catch-22 Radio. Make sure y'all tune in at 92kills.com and check us out at Jolusional. Make sure y'all come to our fashion show next month, too. Uh, uh. Pull up. You're now rocking with the voice of the South. Catch-22 Radio Show on 92kills.com. Yeah, yeah, we are back. It's Catch 22 Radio Show live on 92kills.com. I go by the name of Tay. I got Brian. I got Drew. I got Brian, aka Diva. I had to bring it back. So I want y'all to know his name is Diva. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I swear to God, I, I put that on everything I love. My daughter, Diva boy. I would not answer to none of that. <laughs> Why, bro? Not answer. I'll be like that, bro. No, I'm not answering. I like I'm it. Gonna be like that. Okay. No, I'm going to be like that. I like it. So, uh, we just had a debate on if Ja Rule was hot or not. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I think he's hot. I His run was from 01 to 04. I just looked it up. But I'm just saying, three years is still a big time in this industry. No, no, no. He said he was the Drake of this time. Drake I said been, Drake of his time. No, no, no. Drake of his time. Drake has been going for 10 plus years. I don't think he was talking about the years on that. I think he was talking about. Oh, you can't course. talk about impact. Like, if we're talking about one of the biggest songs, all, all Go was a big song. Don't mean he was. Turning that Jazz was Drake of his time, too. Yeah, he had to be. <laughs> yeah. If we talk about, if we talk about, if we talk about hits, then we going to talk about Fetty Wap being the biggest artist. He was. No, yeah. All right, bro. Fetty Wap was the biggest artist for five months. And then, everybody you know, is the Drake at the end of the day. Minutes. Everybody is the Drake at any time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, come on, let's, let's, let's get into so, it. I don't think I don't, I don't understand why y'all arguing this. Just let's just go get into the Ja Rule was hot. All right, Family. baby. <laughs> Last time that I checked. Shout out to John. All right, John, we got a special guest in the building now. She came in here swagging, swagging, swagging. I've been looking at the clothes all week, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna have to buy some of this for oh, anniversary. Snap. I'm supposed to buy some the other day. No, what you wouldn't. You buy, I ain't seen no plus size clothes. Nothing. We talked, man. Talk. Mm-hmm. I was supposed to send that cash out. I just forgot. Y'all, I just you decided to do your left hand. So that's, Lacey, that's why you don't deal with people that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, you're right. Right. Buy, but you know, if you fucking with it, they gonna get it. Yeah, that's real. Effie with it. Effie. Oh, sure. No, oh, yeah. no, no profanity on this show. Yeah, yeah, you know. So, we in here. What's going on? Man, that's, man, not much. I'm just working, man. We got a couple shows coming up, a couple fashion shows with Fresh Out the Rail. We doing um, Model Coach Walk at uh, Stafford Elementary. Everything coming out early March. But yeah, we got all kinds of shows coming up. You know, we have a unisex streetwear brand, so make sure y'all shop with us at Joe Lugino on Instagram, Twitter, and JoeLugino.com. Okay. So the unisex, that means like I can see like like we can get matching clothes, like me and my whoever yes. it is. Yeah, you're you're significant. Yes. yes. Females, guys, you know, everything in between. Right. Hold on, hold on, hold on, wait, wait, what's in between? No, hold on, she said females, guys, and everything in between, I mean, what's no, in between? Justice Smollett. Just <laughs> <laughs> in between is Justice Smollett. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all don't know what that means. 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 How did I get into fashion? Um, I guess I really always had a passion for fashion, like, you know, kind of said, but I mean, I just always been dressing a little different, you know, I always had a different swag, and then I really started thrifting, like, at the thrift store, just get, like, bitches clothing, then I started, like, painting on it myself, and then started, you know, getting an embroidery machine, started moving up step by step. So you sold too? Yeah, I taught myself how to sew about, like, a year ago. Wow. Wow. So you did your pants, you got on? Yeah. Every you make everything? by me, yeah. Wow. That's yeah. dope. I guess it's special shop. You make draws? I do. You don't want to make his draws. <laughs> you don't want to make his draws. I want a tiger in the like, front. Wait. Why do you want a tiger in the front? I don't know. We're kind of ferocious. <laughs> <laughs> this is why you're naming is Diva. Then you're going to have to get your tiger in the front. Your name is Diva. 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 So what are these fashion shows that you have coming up? All right, so we got one fashion show that's going to be the kids' fashion show. It's March 8th. Okay, it's going to be at Stafford Elementary, 7 o'clock. Make sure you're there. It's invite only. If you'd like to come, just hit me up. You know, I'll just give you an invite. The next one is going to be that Sunday, literally two days after that, all right? And it's going to be at, um, uh, 
this club's location right now, but you know, we're gonna post it on the gram. So just make sure y'all follow us at Joe Nujino. You know, we're gonna let y'all know at the end of the show how to spell that. It might be a little difficult for people, but yeah, we're gonna let y'all know for sure. Are oh, you from Houston? I'm originally from New Orleans. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've been out here and from like. I came out here in 05 for the song, so yeah, I've been out here ever since. So, Joe Luz, you know, it's kind of like a, a mixture of Louisiana, if you can't tell, it's like a little French spelling. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's really a, a name I made up myself, actually. Yeah, Joe Luz is a state of mind, the body experiences, and addressing too fly for reality. So, you gotta take caution when you say that again slowly. Yeah, uh, slowly. Like, she was like, I was trying to do this too. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, it's a state of mind, the body experiences when dressing too fly for mm -hmm. reality. That's oh, wow. Think about that. I like that. Yeah. So you made, like, if I look that up, is that what I'm going to find? Or did you make that the definition? Of? I actually, I, I made it. It's my word. So, you know, I created, oh, okay. I created the term. You know, it's all about me. You but should yeah. have a dictionary. Just yeah, I got to add it to the dictionary. Yeah. <laughs> so what yeah. was your biggest, your biggest experience moving from the wall in St. Houston, like a sports coach? Man, I ain't gonna lie, like Houston it was a, a culture shock. Like it was just so much. Like New Orleans is kind of like a small city, so you know we not. It's not big like at all. Like it probably big easy, but like it's very small. Right. But when I came to Houston, it's like everything spread out. It's like so diverse and everything like stuff everywhere. You gotta drive at least thirty minutes to get anywhere. Yeah, that's right. New Orleans, everything down the street. So we right there. Yeah. But yeah, I didn't really like Houston honestly when I first came out here and like. People ain't like New Orleans people, so oh, yeah, like sure. a little better. But you know, with, in time, like, you know, I found my place here and I realized I love fashion, I love the arts, and I just started showing in my brand. I just love my brand out here. Okay, I was just about to yeah. ask that. Did you start here? Mm -hmm. So, what, what, what's really driving you right now to keep going? Because the fashion game is it's it's crazy, serious. Man. It's yeah, it's, it's crazy, really. Yes. Like, I see a lot of people that's like, really, I don't mean no disrespect to nobody, like, but. I just see a lot of brands just doing like a lot of like logos on a t-shirt type thing. And me, I want my brand to, you know, just be different. Like, you know, we dare to be different. So I'm really bringing the art into fashion because I've been an artist before any of this. Like I've been drawing, like, you know, painting and stuff like that. So I just want to bring it into my clothing. You feel me? So yeah. we do, you know. Our producer over there said he wanted a naked picture of him painting. I don't know if he really did that. But he wants to lay down on his side. <laughs> Alright, he put his hand on his side like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we gonna do this. Alright, so what what sizes do your clothes range? All sizes. When I say like we do kids like all sizes. sizes, like we do onesies for the kids, like we be having a kid show this week, I mean in a couple weeks, so we do the four T's, five T's and up, and all the way to like two, three X. That's not all sizes. I know a girl right now that wear at least a four. No. I know mean, girl right now that wear Lisa Ford. We got the four X too. You just got you know special requests. Oh, 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 oh so you gonna have to your order gonna take six to seven weeks. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they gotta find extra uh, material for we you. Just, we do the customs for everybody, custom size, custom flavor. You know, just get at me. I provide that drip. So just hit me up. Any sizes? I'm gonna need some. I'm gonna need sure. some. So. Being in the fashion industry, is it, is it a lot of competition when it comes to the designers? I know you said you have the ones that just print the logo, but yeah. when it comes to actually making the clothes, how is the competition in the city? Yeah, I mean, like, there's a lot of other designers out here that I, you know, I respect, and it's like, I'm inspired by them for sure. Like, right. it is a couple people out here, and not even just Houston, but it's just a means of, like, wanting to develop my brand even better, like, you know, just keep going. So, right. I see theirs, and I'm like, okay, like, how can I get my brand to the next level? Because you know, you never want to be stagnant. So right. if I do one thing and be like, okay, how can I better this? Because it's times I didn't have an embroidery machine or a sewing machine. I was just, you know, painting on the clothes and going to the thrift store. So yeah. we just did it step by step, you know? So what are some designers, I guess, that you do look to, to, I guess, advance your brand? Like making say like, hey, I got to think out of the box because that was an out of the box type design. Yeah, um, I would definitely say um, local Houston, my dude, uh, Jimmy Burner, he does like a lot of dope fashion for sure. Like he's out of the box with it, like respect to my dude. Um, people that's not really in Houston, um, I know I like uh, Mary, I like, like Off-White, it's like stuff like that, you know, they working with big brands and stuff now. So, you know, we're just trying to get to that next level and we trying to make that black owned fashion the new designer because Everybody shopping with the designer now, but y'all gotta shop with y'all black owned brand. Yeah, they're that, making black faces. That's what that's, that's my that's my goal. That's one of my goals this year to either be in a black owned 
company or being like, you know, Catch 22, which is a black owned company. I think, I don't think I wore any other brands this year, but I mean, besides my tennis shoes, because there ain't no black owned tennis shoes. Yeah. And I ain't wearing Big Baller brands, so. I was about to say Big Baller brands, you sleep. I'm definitely not wearing them. <laughs> Have you seen the shoes, the church shoes? They are black owned. They are basketball <laughs> church shoes. You said all of that, but they black. They are basketball, they patent of the yeah. basketball shoes. Black owned is funny. It's <laughs> Look, because I, I knew he was going with that. I knew he was about to say Big Baller brand. I'm not wearing that. Yeah. So what did, what did you think about that controversy that was with Gucci and Prada That's and all wild, that? That's wild, man. Like, you know, me, since I'm a designer myself, like, I always try to, like, stay away from, like, the big designer brands. Like, if I'm wearing anything designer, it might be, like, something small, like a belt or, like, just an accessory or something. But I don't be trying to wear this stuff. But I really feel like they they know what they're doing. Like, you know, they're doing it to get our attention. They know we people are still gonna buy it, I don't like to buy it, but it's still some people that's gonna buy it, it's gonna slip their mind in a couple of weeks and they'll be like, oh, let me go get this Gucci, let me yeah. shop at Burger and stuff. I don't uh, y'all gotta be strong and stay with y'all word, you know? No, that's real. So, I, so one question is like, how is the support of, I guess, your community when it comes to your brand? Mm. Really, I would say all the people that been down with me, they've been supporting me since day one, like, you know, but it's a lot of people that's like, you know, people that I don't really know that support me more than some of my friends, you know? Right. Like, it's a lot of people out there, like, just randomly, like, they'll pop up at a pop-up, be like, yeah, yeah. You know, I follow you, or they might see me at like a restaurant type thing, and they'll be like, oh, like, I follow you, I love your brand type thing, and I'm like, that's love, like, right. you know, it makes a lot when I, you know, hit it out in public and stuff, so I really like the, you know, the supporters that I really don't know. That's why. So everything that you're doing right now is handmade? Yeah. Handmade, so, mm -hmm. or I uh, either got it from thrift and like, you know, added my own thing onto it. See, I had these jeans for a minute, and I just kind of ripped them up, stitched them up, cut and sewed them back together. Same with this jacket, like. This is already on here, kind of. And so can we order a jacket like that? Yeah. We can order it? Mm -hmm. That's order for sure. I'm sure you have some uh, photo shoots and things oh, coming yeah. up. You probably got fashion shows, yeah. everything. Yeah. Um, you're going to need talent. You're yeah. going to need models. Always. And uh, I have a group. Okay. Um, I don't know if you heard earlier. We're kind of a big deal. Um, the name of the group is Thick and Nasty. Oh. So, uh, <laughs> we, we are thinking nasty, oh. just so you know. Can I say something real quick about your fish track? What? The only problem with this is she don't make y'all sound. I, I tell y'all make everybody sound, okay? She said two. So, yeah. let me, I'm, I'm gonna get on Brian real quick. I'm the manager, but that's because, why I didn't want to fish. So you told that they don't make our size, but you trying to order something. Y'all make my size either. Okay. So, you, when you so, so, so when yeah. you say they don't make, they don't make our size. That's what I meant. You said y'all. You're right. Because y'all was talking about the thick and ass at the time period. So I just want, you know, I want to see if we can special order for y'all. I'm sure we can. We're going to get to that. Okay, though. I'm sorry. So we thinking nasty. Okay. Let me show you what we're talking about. Okay. 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 Nasty. Well, you know, um, we do everything in the background, so we'll be your background designers. Yeah. Now, let me explain something to you. Um, I'm not gonna wear your brand. Mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna wear my own brand, but we just gonna collaborate on some ideas together. Yeah. Okay. And while you wearing your brand, I'm gonna wear my brand. We just gonna stand together. Think that'll work? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So you trying to do a little collab flavorism? It's gonna have to be. It's gonna have to be because we don't wear nobody else stuff. For sure. Because yeah, we, we like only it. like our stuff. For sure. I'm down to collab for sure. Like, that's where anybody, like, if you bring designs and you got that work ethic, trying to collab, send me up. Uh, another thing is we wear, um, never mind. I said I would do it, I never said I did do it. But remember that time? Huh? When you, uh, never mind. No. I'm not gonna put you on blast. Thank you. But we wear those. We don't really like to wear clothes in our photo shoots. Oh. So I just hope that your audience is ready for that. Okay. You know? Um, yeah. While Brian is hated, she don't no, even no, have no. to use that much material. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> But I do want to ask you, I think that we should ask you to try to help us, you know, design a few things for our uh, yeah. two year anniversary. I think it'll be dope. Yeah, yeah, sure. I think that would be awesome. I think that would be really, 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 really dope. That would be dope. And I, I'm, again, I don't wear clothes. Uh, this is the most juicy we have on for this Sunday. <laughs> 
it's Sunday, so I gotta I gotta show up and show out for the Lord. For the Lord. For the Lord. <laughs> yeah, I can't mess up for him. Thrice and get mad at me. Get some all kind of stones. <laughs> so what's next for you? Oh man, that's a good question. Really, we like I said, we only trying to rise higher. So I feel like it's just nothing but greatness in store. And honestly, like you know, we move from connect to connect. Like we really just got sponsored for this fashion show we got coming up. So mm. it's amazing. Like you know, we ain't asked for that. So it's really a great opportunity. That's dope. So, so who knows what, what's next? What's the goal for your brand? Like what? What if you say you're at the height of? brand acknowledgement, where is that for you? Like, is it New York Fashion Week? Is it, you know, multi-millions and your, your stores? Like, you know what I mean? Like, what's what's the, the height of you? Definitely, um, definitely see myself in New York Fashion Week for sure, like within the next three years type thing. And I'm definitely trying to travel. Like, I would like Joe Nugent to have like a, a travel bus almost and have like a pop-up shop. Every, Every time you say that name, I think you're talking about somebody key. You know, I would love to like have like a bus, like, you know, just a um, traveling pop-up shop where people just walk on and shop and I can go from state to state, state, you know, and just travel all across the country. You know, the bus just give a U-Haul. That'd be wild. Right now, like, this investment just give a U-Haul and, and make, it, make it the store. Let yeah. me go. Pull the ramp down, let them walk up in there, you got yep. the stuff. Exactly. Yep. I've seen it done before, so you yeah. can do that. Let's go. Yeah. That's a lot. So where can everybody find you on social media? All right, you can follow me at Lacey Dro. That's my personal page, L-A-C-E-Y. That's D-R-E-A-U-X. And my brand page on Instagram and Twitter, D-R-E-A-U-X-L-U-S-I-O-N-A-L. That's Joe Lugino. A lot of love. Yes. Baby, I'm going to type it for y'all. You feel me? I'm going to give y'all my ad, my little card, all that good stuff. Y'all can follow us and you make sure you shop on the site. Go Saints. Go Saints. Look. Why? Don't do that. I said that I want to get my dad. Football season. Did you watch it? Oh, Pelicans. Come on, man. Did you watch the Super Bowl? I watched. You watched Super Bowl? You supposed to be boycotting. Yeah. I watched. You right. You right. You right. But we was, I was in my black and gold for the Super Bowl forever, man. We forever rep the same. You a Pelicans fan? Yeah, that's my team. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, Pelicans and the Rockets, you know? Because I'm New Orleans, used to raise. So yeah, I love them both. That's real. I like it. Well, thank you so much for stopping by and okay. kicking it with us. We really do appreciate you. Now DJ Anthrax is about to go into a mix. And when we come back, we are gonna have conversations with Catch-22. Let's get it. It's Catch-22 Radio right right. Show. Let's get it. You're now rocking with the voice of the South. Catch 22 Radio Show on 92kills.com.